This is Keith Thompson of Reformed Apologetics Ministries. This is a video of pro-life activists and pro-death abortion supporters at the state capital of Texas rallying on the issue of abortion. Take a look and notice that while the believers are singing Amazing Grace, the abortionists chant Hail Satan. <laughs> This display of wickedness on the part of the abortionists is a perfect example of the biblical description of the unsaved, unregenerate natural man. Scripture teaches that naturally people are depraved and fallen. They are in need of regeneration and salvation through Christ Jesus. Part of the effects of being unregenerate and fallen is you are at enmity with God. That is, you hate the God you know exists. Romans 5.10 says, for while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son. This fact is also confirmed in Romans 8, 7, quote, For the mind that is set on the flesh, which is everybody, is hostile to God, for it does not submit to God's law, indeed it cannot. So since the unregenerate fallen man hates their God, it is no surprise to see these unregenerate abortionists chanting, Hail Satan! The abortion debate is, after all, a God debate. For, if God exists, abortion is wrong, since God fashions each human at conception, and they bear God's image. But if there is no God, the abortionists reason, all that's in the womb is some useless biological organism. So since the abortionists hate God, of course they are going to show that hatred by forcefully resisting the position which says because God exists, abortion is wrong. As Proverbs 8.36 confirms, All who hate me, that is God, love death. Secondly, these abortionists fulfill other texts concerning unregenerate men in their satanic chants. 1 John 3.10 indicates the unregenerate are children of the devil. Thus, it is no surprise that they chant in support of their master, Lucifer. This is truly an instructive video. And I hope God will use it to show what is behind the abortionist pro-death movement. For those who are watching this video and are being drawn to Christ, and who want to be forgiven of their sins and have eternal life, you need to realize that you have sinned before a holy God and you're condemned. However, the good news is that Jesus Christ, the divine Son of God, the Messiah, took on flesh in the first century died for sin, paying the price for the sins of all those who would believe on him. So if you turn to him from your wicked ways and trust Christ and his atonement, you can have eternal life. You can be forgiven by God. Jesus rose from the dead, conquering death. Take care.